there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. The president of the United States on tape, pressuring election officials to find enough votes to overturn his defeat. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. In this hour-long phone call obtained by the Washington Post, Donald Trump demanded Georgia's Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, discard the will of voters. You should want to have an accurate election, and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. Recounts of the ballots have revealed no evidence of fraud. The phone call, another blow to his party. The Senate will come to order. Which is fighting to keep control of the U.S. Senate. I do think it is irresponsible to fan the flames on misinformation that is actually factually not true. On Tuesday, two runoff elections in Georgia will decide will whether the, the Senate, Senate stays in Republican hands. Some Republicans worry voters will take the president's falsehoods to heart and stay home. I'm concerned that it continues to be a distraction for the ever so important election on January 5th for Republicans here in Georgia, but also Republicans all over the country. But Trump's claims the election was rigged against him will have the backing of his allies on Capitol Hill on Wednesday. For the meeting of the 117th Congress of the United States. That's when the newly the seated House Congress, sworn in today, will count the Electoral College votes. Dozens of GOP lawmakers have vowed to challenge the certification of Joe Biden's victory. The fact of the matter is that we have an unsustainable state of affairs in this country where we have tens of millions of people that do not view this election result as legitimate. Says one longtime Trump supporter. The reason it will go nowhere is because there's been no evidence of widespread fraud. President Trump will hold a rally in Georgia on the eve of the runoffs to motivate his base to go out and vote for the two Republican senators vying for re-election. Now, Trump on Twitter acknowledged his phone conversation with Raffensperger, writing he was unwilling to look into the president's false conspiracy claims. Now, Raffensperger tweeted back a strong message for the president, writing what you're saying is not true. The truth will come out. Karen Seolin, City News.